Ah. Hi everyone and welcome to the Champions League quarterfinals predictions video. Now today, of course, as you can probably already tell, I'm going to be attempting to predict the 2019-2020 Champions League quarterfinals and I might do a semi-finals video, definitely going to do a final video and maybe a final review. I don't know about a watch along because it's going to be like 2am in the morning uh, for me over here, of course, Australian Eastern Time. Uh, but I don't know, we'll see. Depends how many views, likes, and all those sorts of things that these sorts of videos get. And depends if the majority of the people that watch my videos would like me to continue these sorts of, well, these videos and this sort of content. And if you do want to see more content like these Champions League videos, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you don't like me or my content for whatever reason, then feel free to leave a dislike as well. Let's take a quick review of the round of 16. Of course, Leipzig absolutely destroyed Tottenham Hotspur thanks to a Marcel Sabitz, a masterclass throughout that entire uh, round of 16 tie. We, of course, had Atalanta going through 8-4 in a thrilling tie against Valencia. PSG edged out a comeback against Dortmund. Atletico stunned the world and beat Liverpool 3-2. I did a, uh, a separate video on that a while ago when it happened, back in March. Uh, Man City beat Real Madrid very, very convincingly. Solid performances in both legs from Manchester City. Juve got knocked out by Olympic Lyon, who finished 7th in Ligue 1. Of course, it was finished early. However, that's still impressive for a team like Lyon. No disrespect. Juventus have been the Italian giants for like a good decade, I want to say now. So that's really impressive from uh, the French side. We've also got Barcelona comfortably going through against Napoli, as expected. Napoli did well to get that, uh, that draw in the first leg, but of course... Second leg, it was Barcelona's time. Bayern Munich, holy Jesus, they lapped up Chelsea. Like, it was really, really convincing, really, really easy. Lewandowski is doing well. If you look at stats here, he's three ahead of Erling Braut Haaland, who is second top scorer. And, of course, Lewandowski is top scorer with 13 goals. 13 goals, and we're not even we're not even started playing the quarterfinals yet. It's unbelievable, really. Anyway, so let's go through the quarterfinal predictions now. Feel free to leave your prediction down below. I would love to know your opinion and all that sort of stuff. But first up, we have Atalanta and PSG, who are playing tomorrow morning from the day that this is going up. And I'm really excited. I'm really excited to wake up and, and see the result from this. I really want Atalanta to go through. Um, if there's one big team that I want to win it, and of course we'll go back here, we can see Atletico, PSG, Barcelona, Bayern, and Man City are in it. Not to say that Leipzig, Atalanta, and Lyon aren't big clubs, but you know those those four that I listed before, or well, those five, uh, pardon me, are the bigger bigger clubs. Let's be honest. And PSG have never even made it to a final before. I believe. I know they haven't won it for a fact, but they've. I'm pretty confident that they've never reached a final before, which is pretty surprising because PSG have a stupid amount of money and a lot of good players in their squad. Let's be honest. So, I think that this first leg is go. Or sorry, not first leg because there's no legs. I reckon that this game is going to end 2-1 to PSG. I think it won't be comfortable. I think Atalanta will put up a good fight, but I think there's just too much quality in the PSG squad to, um, yeah, to, to edge them out. It's played at a neutral ground to, in this, I believe. I probably should have read into this a bit more, but uh, yeah, so I'm really excited for that leg, and I think PSG will run out 2-1 winners. Again, I don't think it's going to be too close, but let's read a couple of the insights down here. Uh, the 2019-20 edition will see the latest ending of uh, a UEFA Champions League slash European Cup campaign in history. There you go. Previously, the latest knockout game in the competition was the first final played on the 13th of June in 56 between Real Madrid and Rimes. This is going to be... Th this game right here is going to be two months later than the previously uh, latest game in a calendar year played in the Champions League game. It's unbelievable. And we're only in the quarterfinals. It just shows how crazy that COVID-19... Or how crazy COVID-19 really is, sorry. There you go. PSG have never won a game at all against Italian opposition in the Champions League. They've drawn four and lost two. And they've never kept a clean sheet in any game against Italian sides in the, in the, in the Champions League. Sorry, that is pretty fascinating. Up next, we have one of my, one of my favorite games, really. RB Leipzig against Atletico Madrid. I think Atletico Madrid are actually going to storm Leipzig here. I reckon it's going to be 3-0. I am going to be betting on 3-0. I'm really hoping that Leipzig go through. Because, again, we go back once more. Imagine if we had Barca. I'd prefer Bayern to go through, but I think... Oh, I'll get to that in a sec. Imagine if we had one of them two there, Barca or Bayern, Leon, Leipzig, and Atalanta in the Champions League uh, semi-finals. 
that would guarantee that either Leipzig, Atalanta or Lyon would make it into the final, which would be absolutely crazy. I would love to see that. It's already been really good as it is. Uh, however, wouldn't mind a few more, eh? Anyway, Leipzig versus Atletico Madrid. This is going to be very, very convincing for Atletico. Like I said, this will be the first competitive encounter between RB Leipzig and Atletico Madrid. It's also the first time Leipzig have been drawn against a Spanish club in European competition. Uh, that's that's insane. That's absolutely insane. So you're telling me that, that this is the first time that Leipzig are going to be playing against Spanish opposition in European European competition. That is insanity. Atletico have reached the quarterfinals of the Champions League for the fifth consecutive time in the last seven seasons. Uh, not consecutive, sorry, fifth time in the last seven seasons. A feat only Barcelona and Bayern have um, bettered over the time period. Meanwhile, this is the first experience for Leipzig in the knockout phase of the competition. That is incredible. Fair play Leipzig, man. What a team they have. But I do think Atletico Madrid will edge them out pretty convincingly. Probably the big one, Barcelona versus Bayern Munich. Can Messi win the Champions League for the first time since 2015? Um, Barca have had a great squad ever since, haven't they? Um, but I don't know how they haven't won La Liga this year. They've just bottled it completely. Barca and Bayern have both reached the quarterfinals of the Champions League for the 18th time in 24 and 23 appearances respectively more than any other team incredible stats there Barcelona are in the quarterfinals of the Champions League for the 13th consecutive year that's every season since 2007-08 a record for the history of the competition to be fair they just versed Arsenal every season up until like 2017 so meh by the way yes I have got a new mic who cares about that uh, let's let's do the the predictions for this leg please let me know your thoughts on this one because this is going to be very 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 interesting however you know what I'm going 2-0 Barca. I just think Barcelona, since they somehow missed out on La Liga, they're going to be very, very hungry for silverware. And getting the Champions League, bringing it back to the, the camp now, would be incredible. And I think they're going to do it. I reckon that Barca are going to win 2-0. I reckon, I reckon Messi will pick up both assists. How about that? And finally, Manchester City against Olympic Lyon. This will be the third UEFA Champions League meeting between City and Lyon. No side have the citizens faced on more occasions in the competition without a victory than Lyon. Uh, they've played two and uh, won none of them, drawn one and lost one. City have reached the quarterfinals of the Champions League for a fourth time in the last five seasons, the only exception being 16-17. There you go. Uh, however, they have only progressed from one of their previous three quarterfinal appearances, knocking out PSG in 15-16. That's insane, bro. I don't think this will be as convincing as everyone thinks. I think it's going to be 1-0 City. I'm going to go with... Just because he's on the cover, I'm going to go with a Riyad Mahrez goal. I reckon it will be a Mahrez magic sort of moment. And I reckon he'll score the winning goal. Uh, so let's quickly revise my predictions for the, the, the competition now. So I'll go over it more in the semis, but I do believe that City will win the Champions League this season. I thought that at the start of the campaign, and they're still in it now. I still am of the opinion that they will win the Champions League this season. However, with the quarterfinals, I am predicting PSG to win 2-1 against Atalanta. I'm predicting Atletico to storm Leipzig 3-0. I'm predicting Barca to beat Bayern 2-0. And I'm predicting Man City to beat Lyon 1-0. I am going with all different score lines for each of these ties which is going to be very interesting, I'm sure. We've got one tomorrow morning, one the day after, one the day after, and another day the day after. I am so excited for this quarterfinal draw, and it's going to be really good because it's going to be at a neutral ground, in the moment sort of thing, and whoever wins, wins. And, you know, if there's a draw, penalties, all that sort of stuff, absolutely fantastic. Can't wait for that. I do want to thank you guys very much for watching this Champions League quarterfinal predictions video. Please leave your opinion down below on what's going to happen, who's going to win the Champions League. And if you'd like me to do a semi-final and final prediction, preview, review, whatever you want, let me know down below. Leave a like and subscribe. But until next time, I will see you all in the next video.